Welcome to a new video. In today's video I want to talk about coloring fails or drawing fails in general and how to use these kind of failed works to learn from instead of throwing them away. I came up with this video idea as I found this little drawing I created a few months ago and I can pretty well remember my feelings while creating this. The pressure of wanting to draw very fast, but still trying to draw perfectly looking artworks. It's a combination of feelings that can pull your creativity down and can even cause art blocks. On the same hand, the right amount of pressure and stress can cause a creativity boost. But if the feelings are going into a negative way that will bring yourself down, you should take one step back because it's not good for you to feel that way at this moment. It's not that the pressure we're putting on ourselves will go away forever once we do understand our feelings and what we should do to prevent, but we really need to remember ourselves from time to time that we should slow down and be patient with ourselves, especially through this learning process. If something really doesn't work and you draw it over and over again, and you're making yourself crazy, it's always the best to take a step back and try again a few hours later. In my case, it's always helpful to put the drawing away and try again the next day. Just do something different that makes you happy. This always works for me. So I was cleaning up my art place a bit and I found this piece between my paper chaos and I remembered all the negative feelings while creating this piece all the pressure and stress and so on. And I was thinking it's not even a bad drawing, it's just something is missing in this piece. Uh, something that I have should worked out a bit more, but anyways, I decided to do just some coloring experiments out of it because there's nothing to lose, right? I know that I captured the first drawing process of this piece, but I couldn't find it anymore, so you just see how I'm trying to create something new out of it. At first it was pretty much just a brush pen drawing with some pinkish details and a bit of golden color in the background. I don't know what I really wanted to create, but now thinking of it, the lines were maybe just too harsh for a light and soft look. Maybe some thinner brown lines would have made a difference. But like we like to say in Germany, hätte hätte Fahrradkette which basically means it's no help to think about something you should have done. Focus on what you can do now, because now you have the knowledge of doing it better. So knowing what went wrong is good to prevent us from making the same mistakes. We need to fail and need to accept failure to learn from it and become better next time. So if you think you failed, try to think about what exactly went wrong. You need to know your mistakes, otherwise you will do it again. Sometimes it's also a help to ask other people. Doing mistakes, thinking about it, accept them and try better next time is a normal and good process of growing. This is not even just a way of getting better at drawing. You can do the same thing everywhere in your life. For example, if you are a gamer and you always die in the game, you will start to think about why you always die on the same point and you will change your strategy and you will do some research to know what you could change. It sounds simple and it is simple if you change your mindset a bit and just be open-minded. If you have some drawings you want to throw away because they don't turn out the way you want them to look, use them to try new things out or try out something you always wanted to do but you were always too afraid of messing up. Because most of the time, if you are planning to try out a new technique, sometimes you're creating something just for it and you mostly want it to work and feel satisfied within the first try. But in this way, you're mostly taking your own freedom of messing up and trial and error and you put more pressure on your shoulders. But with a drawing you're not satisfied enough with, you don't have that pressure on your shoulders. Because there's nothing to lose anymore, because you already decided um, that this piece is a failure. Being creative is not something you're planning. 
Sometimes you will be surprised at what you're really able to create if you just give it a try without thinking too much of what could happen. In my case, it was pretty easy for me to change things and paint over the colors or blend them differently with Copic. I know that it's also possible with watercolors, acrylic paints and gouache until a certain point. Of course, the paper you're using plays also a certain role, but in general, nothing is impossible. And sometimes you can create something wonderful out of something you won't have believed in at first. Sometimes you just need to give it a try. And the only thing you should not accept is not trying. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And it would be interesting to know if you have done something like this before. Um, creating something new out of something you wanted to throw away. It would be also interesting to know your thoughts in general. So thank you so much for watching and stay creative. Bye bye!